castings from Manjunath. Many of you or most of you have not seen me on a video like this. This is my first time endeavor to be on a video as I've been thinking for a while to make a video on what I want to call attributes of a data scientist. If you were to holistically look at a data scientist profile, there's got to be something more than this technical skills itself. Of course, the technical skills are important and over a period of time, I've observed the emphasis very rightly so on several aspects of our data science and as a multidisciplinary field, particularly areas of our statistics, machine learning, domain, visualization, software development and programming gets the emphasis in terms of the skills and competencies for a data scientist. But I always wondered, there's got to be something over and above this, which I want to call a human dimension to your data scientist when I make a holistic look at an objective look at a data scientist. So this is my sincere endeavor to see a data scientist from the perspective of a human dimension. And this human dimension is more often than not is the art part of the data scientist than the science part, which is mostly to do with the skills. To explain my views on this, just for convenience, I'm just looking at from the perspective of two points to address the holistically looking at data scientist. One is to look at the personal attributes and others for the lack of better header, let me just call it as others itself. But equally important are these two points, personal attributes and the other attributes. So let's just examine a little more closely what the human dimension entails in terms of the personal attributes. First and foremost for a data scientist to look at from the standpoint of the personal attribute is to say the data scientist has to be passionate. What do I mean by that? Being passionate to solve problems is to my limited knowledge a very big aspect of being part of finding the solutions as well. The other attribute that comes to mind is the creativity part of a data scientist. What do I mean by that? The data scientist has to be creative in terms of ability to think analytically and to come up with innovative and optimal solutions. When the data scientist primary responsibility entails solving the business problems, so creativity pay, plays a major role in coming up with innovative and optimal solution by analytical thinking abilities. Yet another attribute would come to mind that is to say logicality you should be able to he or she should be able to logically think with a rational approach to problem understanding and the resolution itself of course the person has to be confident enough confident enough to defend the findings and recommendations many a times when you're trying to solve the problems you are speaking the language of the data and hence you should be confident enough to defend what you are trying to say to your stakeholders at large Communicability is a big part of it. I already alluded to visualization, one of the key skills where you got, you should have the ability to communicate and you should be a persuasive communicator when you are uh, in a meeting and you're having certain points to make and you're a data smart manager in the meeting, you should be having persuasive communication skills to better prevail upon the stakeholders to have a win-win for all of us. Of course, the ability to take responsibility is also paramount. What do you mean by ability to take the responsibility? Let me just explain. The data science scientists should be able to take both bottom line and top line responsibilities and should always deliver the expected outcomes to the stakeholders. This is one of the important traits of a data scientist. How do we get to a problem solution? More often than not, persistence would invariably lead us to a problem solution. What do I mean? You should have a lot of patience and persist with the problems let us say in the language of machine learning to unearth not so apparent insights. Many a times when you are unearthing the insights, most of it would be intuitively understood by the business owner or the domain expert. The ability to unearth not so apparent insights is where the value creation as a data scientist that you would do in the bigger scheme of things from the problem resolution. This leads me to think about many a times I have found that solution is a function of patience implying more the time spent with understanding the problem, more likely are the probability of getting the optimal solution increases. And that, that would lead to many impactful outcomes with the impact and the value created to be significantly high. Last but not the least, let's realize the business problem, we can, we are, as a data scientist, we are converting the business problem into an analytical problem. To understand the business problem more than anything, Empathy matters the most to my mind. That's why I've taken it as a last point to drive home with little more rigor. Most certainly this is not the trivial point to look at. 
this is a great trait even to understand the problem and for collaboration especially when you are dealing with multidisciplinary setting and distributed trains distributed across the globe you got to be empathetic enough to understand the problem and hence are able to collaborate better with cross cultural teams so these are some of the personal attributes that you would look at i alluded at the beginning of the video to something called others attributes what are those so it's one dimension to have the personal attributes then there are certain other traits that would make the holistic view complete for a data scientist and that is to say data scientist got to be far more objective than anything else i would say be outrightly objective in all the endeavors and the data scientist also has to be dispassionate about dealing with things what do i mean by that data scientist should have the ability to interpret and communicate what data says without emotions and prejudice even if the data analysis were to say to the contrary of the intuition or the expectations so you should be dispassionately looking at the data and let the language of the data do the talking than you actually doing the talking there are some more skills that i would like to add what are those a good data scientist is one who has got high ability to do the data hacking so should be high on data hacking skills and certain other models let's just look at of course in the world of data science and machine learning we are day in and day out churning out the models so mental models play a very big role what are those ability to explain how something works in the real world based on the thought process is a very good ability as a data scientist for creating the value not just these while looking at the problem resolution you are looking at potentially plethora of alternatives and then choosing a particular problem a set of as a particular solution or a set of solutions to be a are a combinatorial solutions to be a resolution for the problem so your ability to look at alternative options before narrowing down to the specifics is also a fundamental ability so let me say in summary and conclusion one of the great traits of data scientist for one to be a great data scientist rather one should have all these aspects would love to hear you hear your thoughts hear your comments hear your suggestions here areas of improvements for me in this video As always happy to hear you all